Today is June 7th in the year 2000. And this little puppy still doesn't have a name. Malibu is her formal name, but everybody calls her Boo. As an absolutely adorable six-week-old puppy, this white shepherd was picture perfect. Canine joy and health. But time marches on, and as is the case with all living things, age begins to take its toll. You ready to go upstairs? Now, nine years old. Let's go upstairs. Boo's having trouble running, walking. Come on. Even struggling getting out of her chair. Oh. Boo has severe arthritis in her hips and has not responded significantly to traditional anti-inflammatory treatment. But now, there's one more option for her owners to take. A revolutionary new stem cell regenerative treatment surgery. It won't be easy or cheap. I'm a tight wad. I hate to part with uh, any penny, but this is, uh, you know, this is our Christmas present to each other uh, this year, and so we thought, you know, let's let's do it. If she's our, she, our kids are out of the house, so she is our little girl now, and so we want the best for her. I've had problems with my back. I've had some surgery and that sort of thing. I know what back pain feels like. Mm -hmm. And so every time I see her struggling to get up in a chair or, you know, something like that, um, you know, I feel for her. And so I hate seeing her being in the kind of pain that I was in. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we're going, gee, if there's something we can do. Dr. Benjamin Ealing is one of the respected veterinarians at the Broad Ripple Animal Clinic. He's taken highly specialized courses just to perform this amazing stem cell operation. So you try other procedures first or other things before you go to this. This is like the last effort to get it fixed? Yeah, the, the ideal candidate is you know, a dog who does suffer from arthritis, who either the, the typical medications no longer are effective mm -hmm. or just aren't, or the dog just doesn't tolerate them. And she's in pretty good health otherwise, right? Yeah, she's in very good health. So that makes her a likely candidate? Yes, yep. Okay, well, good luck. Thanks. Later in the morning, with the worried parents gone, Boo is put under general anesthesia, and the surgery gets underway. Basically, fat cells are removed from her abdomen. These cells are then shipped to the prestigious Vet Stem Labs in San Diego to be isolated, then sent back to Dr. Ealing to be injected into Boo's arthritic hips. The regenerative cells that we collect, they do several things. They release chemicals that help decrease inflammation. They send out chemicals to the body to bring healing cells into that area. And those stem cells do have the potential to regenerate damaged tissues. And this is equally better because these aren't synthetic cells. These are cells from the patient back into the patient just put in another area. Correct. There's really no real side effects. It's the body's natural healing cells. And, you know, there's no interactions. No rejection. No rejection. Less than 48 hours after the initial surgery, the isolated stem cells are FedExed back to Dr. Ehrling, and under local anesthesia, he can then perform the injection operation. And these shots go directly to the trouble spots. She's doing much better. I think she feels good. She's not whining and crying at night. I was looking at that uh, footage that I shot early on, and uh, it's really dramatic. I, I had forgotten just how much pain she was in. So, yeah, we, we already see, you know, a big shift. And it's, you know, it's supposed to take a little bit of time before it'll all settle down. But, um, but right away, we've, we saw a significant improvement. You don't want to think about euthanasia, but, um, you know, at some point, the pain gets so bad. Technology saved the day. Um, it really seems to have. She is doing much, much better. I think it's worth it. And the fact that she's got um, an extra set of cells being stored for her for future use, I think then we can often try to be progressive rather than reactive to the situation.